morning nights, it's Friday. Today is April 17th. It is the Friday within the octave of Easter, if we could prepare ourselves to pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, you gave us the Paschal mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race. Encourage our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith we may express in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. For this morning's intentions, we pray for Karen Mays, Michelle Smith, and Jordan Bakley of the class of 2013. We pray also for the repose of the soul of Jim Lawson and for his family during this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Yes, it's another Lord of the Rings reflection this morning. The world is indeed full of peril, and in it there are many dark places. But still there is much that is fair, and though in all lands love is now mingled with grief, it grows perhaps the greater. It can be easy to give in to grief and darkness during times like these, but I think these words, spoken at Easter, are reminders that love and light can be found even when it seems impossible. Together, nights, let's celebrate the light and joy of the Easter season. Have a wonderful Friday and a great weekend. Hi, JP2. I know I speak for a lot of us teachers, it's Miss Walsh Moots, when I say we are so proud of the work that you have been doing to adjust to this new way of learning. We're so proud of the way you've supported each other, the way you've reached out when you need help, and the way you've been so, so flexible. Of course, we miss you terribly and cannot wait to get back together when we can do it safely. Until then, I hope you're finding ways that you have fun, things that you like to do. One of the things I like to do most is play trivia. And so on Monday, I'm gonna host a JP2 community trivia night for anyone who wants to join and just take a break to have some fun together. It can be you alone, it can be you and your family or who's ever in your quarantine. And I'll send more information in Monday's announcements. Remember, we're all in this together. Go Knights! Starting today, the Senior Leadership and Ministry class will have their final series of faith reflections posted to the Faith and Community page on the Innovate website. Every Wednesday and Friday, there will be a pair of Senior Reflections available for the community to view. Please join Ms. Mills in congratulating the seniors in this class for all their hard work and leadership this year by watching the reflections and reaching out to those involved. Thanks, Jacob. Congratulations to Madeline Dye, who will be presenting her research paper at the TJS annual meeting today on Zoom. Her paper is a two-year project that was inspired by her trip to Haiti in her Novex Innovate course. Madeline has worked with the lab at MTSU, multiple teachers in the science department, and even had the support of the 3D Printing Club. Abstracts of all paper presented will be published in the annual handbook and proceedings of the Tennessee Junior Academy of Science, and Madeline will also be considered for other awards. Good luck, Madeline. We have a tribute to the spring sports teams. We know that you all spent so much time in practices and training this season, and we will miss seeing your competitions on our fields, courts, and track this spring. Here are the JP2 spring sports teams. Now for the joke of the day. Hey Jacob, what time is it when a clock strikes 13? I don't know. What, PB? Well, it's time to get a new clock. Have a good day and night and have a wonderful weekend.